So welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Profile, the Albas deck featuring uh, Charlie. So in this video, I'm just going to be doing a deck profile with my mate Charlie. So, let's continue. He is smarter than your average player. Joining us today is Charlie. Check him out on his YouTube channel called Buckingham. Go. Right. So your profile, very quickly. This is the deck. I've put everything in it. I've sleeped all up. We're good to go. I've been working on this for two, three months now. Like, since it was announced, I've basically been foxing stuff, so I'm, I'm ready. But I'll run through the deck this very quickly, so... Two Arbaz. You don't need more than two. One, like, one is fine, but a little bit risky because if you draw it, then you have to send out your hand with the Vanda Fusion, so you want to run more if possible. Real Luba, I'm so sorry if you bought this at 150, but also... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine buying it at 150. You have no one to buy him but yourself. It's just you search of the deck, you search up everything. It's super, super good. On two Tragedy. Tragedy, again, just searches the Luba. It also searches the third, which is Adam Whiten. You run one of this. Uh, this is essentially gives you an extra interruption on your first turn because you brand, you search this out with a Tragedy, you get branded in red. Add the Tragedy back, fuse with your Mirror Jade, that and Tragedy for, uh, for Chimera. And then Kimura pops, gets you two draws, and this summons back to Mirror Jade, and that one can use its effect again when you do. So it's important to have at least one. But that's all the Despots. It's not a large Despot point. You don't need to run that many. You want as many, like, spells and stuff as possible. We're running a few of the little Albaz cards. One Kit, one Albion, one Mercuria, and one Ecclesia. These are more like Paradise Lost searches. You want at least one of them, just so you've got options. Mercurius and Molson Gate is probably the best. I'd run two if I had the space, but I don't really. Because you often tend to banish one with Branded and Red, so you get an extra search. Albion, you run one off because of Retribution, because this, you discard it, send Retribution, you upstart, and then you get to recycle a card from the base, which is a free plus one if you get it. Kit and such. Ecclesia is partially because you need a light. I'm not actually running any light hand traps in this, so you need at least one. And partially because it's just good recursion. You have a lot of discards, and having this come back to your hand every turn is pretty good. Plus, as a weird bonus, it's a spellcaster, so if you get Secret Village, you can just slap that on the field, which is very funny. Uh, we're running a couple of packages. DP package, a bit blinged out, but it's the same thing. DP in this deck is just nuts. Fun fact, Paradise Lost, Abandoned Lost, sorry, triggers off of any fusion summon, so you can slap that down, slap down DP, and it'll still trigger. And you can, you can use DP's effect in the window so they can't respond to it. So, like that. A little bit of spice, because I need, I've got to add a little bit. Necro Banshee and Zombie World. So the reason this was put in initially was because the Flunder matchup was really hard. They don't care about your stuff being banished. They don't really care about you popping cards. They can just recur. So this shuts them out of the game entirely. They can't tribute some of it. It also it works against some other decks. It works against Tri Brigade to an extent. It works against Sword Soul to an extent. It's 50-50 on it. But it's there for the Tri matchup, for the Flunder matchup. And the, the reason you write it is because you send that off of Brand Fusion. So you make Lubellin using Albez and this. And then they can't even, like, you can do it in the same chain. If you have Paradise Lost, they can't respond to it. Three of the best card in the deck, which is Brand of Fusion, because you need to run three, card is nuts, need I say more? I think everyone's heard enough about it so far. Very glad to finally have it. Three branded opening, this card is insane price now, I don't know why. Eventually it will get reprinted, and again, like a Luba, everyone will laugh. So until then, you have to run three. It's, it's, uh, it's 73 more copies of a Luba for you. Uh, only two banded in red. You can run three, but you don't ever go through three, and it's very, very searchable. You have two ways of searching it, most of the albums in the extra deck, but you will see it often enough that you don't really want it to use three. But if you have the space for it, it's fine running three. It's actually a good card. Uh, one banded lost. I, I really wanted to run multiple copies of this, but the issue is it doesn't do anything on its own. You have to have something else with it. So you don't really want to run many cards that aren't like getting your plays going. This just makes your stuff better, but it, it wins more than it. You still run it because it's searchable and it's because it's really, really good. Yeah. Uh, one Retribution, this is the send off of Albion. You, it just, you don't ever use the field effect. Field effect is garbage. Just send it to the graveyard, recycle the brand and stuff in the graveyard. That's what you care about. Free Prosperity. So, I put this back in the deck. Banishing from your deck is really, really painful. You use everything in there. But it's more important to find the outs the board. You'll notice this isn't running that many hand traps. I'm less concerned about stopping the bonus players as I am about breaking the boards that they make right now. And I think that's better. I don't know if it's the right approach, but it's the approach that's worked best for me so far. So on that, we're also running a bit of a weird choice, Free Book of Moon. This is like the flex pick. I wanted something that was good both going first and going second. Going first, Lubellion is a big choke point, so this 
chain to like an imperm or Velo or something like that. I'm going to try and use it on the belly. It's really good. It's getting on a Luna, same thing. If you're going second, it just trades one for one for a negate a lot of the time, which is fine. Like, it works. Uh, three of a card that really should not be in three, which is super poly. It's been forgotten about, but I guarantee you in about a month's time, then everyone's going to fucking remember it again. So expect to see that in every deck. I think people are siding it at the moment. You'll learn to main it. The status card is nuts. It's just super, super, super strong. And three droplets because right now it's mandatory, basically. Welcome to Psych Format, what can I say? Um, I'll run through the extra very quickly. One Chimera. Chimera is really strong. Most of the time you want to make this on your opponent's server with Branded in red. Don't summon it during your turn, it's not that good. If you make it under, power, under Branded Lost, it's even stronger. So you just get to pop stuff non-targeting. Uh, note, if you don't resolve either the pop or the draw, you don't resolve the other, the whole effect. So like if you, for example, if you use Guardian Chimera and then they chain DP to clear their field, you can't draw because you haven't got a card to pop. So be wary of that. Because it tends to happen when it comes up with like DP plus Mirror Jade chains where they can clear their own board so you don't get to trigger them the, um, the Chimera. Two Mirror Jade. God is nuts. Uh, it's a Banish. It's a Nuke. It's, for some reason, the cost is also a benefit. Because why not? Just give it everything, sure. You're making this every game. If you're not, you're probably losing. Remember, if you don't win, something went wrong. Two Libellion to get to it. You run two Libellion because it's better to brand a fusion using this into this than it is to go into Albion, solely because you can send tragedy. So it means brand a fusion suddenly becomes uh, Mirror Jade plus branded in red. The branded in red is very important because it's a, it's another form of interruption. It's like two or three interruptions and a plus four if you get it right. Uh, one Masquerade, one Coritus. These are just generic Gaspier fusions. You want to run a few of them. Having access to like super poly targets that so you can just like you can, for example if you're going second you slap a Luba and they try and do anything to it you chain super poly fuse a Luba and like a Savage or something it happens a lot of the time people will try and hold the target in the gates for Luba and they will get slammed as a result. Uh, to Albion you don't often summon Albion it's it's fine to summon but most of the time you just want to send it with Mirror Jade. I'm not running the Dragoon package in this, so it's not as important that he's on the Light Hexo Fusion. I don't think it's worth, per se. I think Mirrors is better, so that's that. But I think two is fine. I'm only one Bridge Ram as well. This will eventually be replaced, most likely by Alba Renata when that's out, but for now it's fine. It's just another fuel for Mirror Jade. It's just the least bad one. The other ones are not good enough. This search is Mercurial, which is relevant. Uh, DP, you have to run DP, because he's DP. Dragon Necro. So I'll I'll, think, I'll clear these with the um the Super Poly ones. So this is here because I'm running Zombie World. It's a Super Poly target. It just makes Super Poly a lot more threatening on the Zombie World. Starving Venom, Dragon Spelia. This one doesn't come up as often, but it's too dark so if you run it. This one will see a lot of play because a lot of the end boards right now are DP plus something, especially if they end on like DP plus Vertex. John. Also, if you super poly this on the opponent's board, you just win the game. Because you take whatever they some you really fuse with. So, like, if they're, like, Baron and, like... Well, normally happens you end up with, like, Savage, Baron, plus, like, something. Like, DP, Baron. So you can Pusquini, you can fuse all three of them to Pusquini, and then take them along because, you know, fuck you, I guess. Uh, very quickly in the side deck. Uh, is it still preliminary? I don't know if it's going to stick like this, but this is what I think will be decent. Last year... Banishing in this deck is pretty important, and I expect a lot of people to be on it, so Lance here is makes sense. Token Collector, because Sword Soul is still a thing. Uh, Droll, I, I don't rate Ash this format. I think Droll is just better at the moment, especially if they start with an um, a, a adventure combo. You can cut them off pretty early on, and it sort of slows them down a bit. This board, this deck is really good at just dealing with established boards. There's a limit, but most of the time it can pow like power through one or two negates pretty easily. Three nibbles, because I'm expecting a little bit PK as well. Haven't seen that much of it, but it's still hanging around. And then three Cyclone, because uh, I don't think you'll see it yet, but I'm expecting anti-spells, I'm expecting uh, floodgates to try and deal with this deck. So I need an out to them, basically. And that is everything. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. Um, hopefully I'll see, hopefully you know, you'll, you'll subscribe to this channel. And uh, wait a couple of minutes and you'll, seconds, sorry, and you'll see some other videos that appear on my channel. Hope to see you soon and thank you.